the depth map in DaVinci Resolve. It's a tool that analyzes your footage and generates an alpha channel based on the perceived distance of objects from the camera. Think of it like isolating layers in a 3D space, but generated from a 2D clip. Maybe you want fog, but only in the distant background, not covering your subject. Or perhaps you need to boost contrast and saturation on the foreground person without affecting the rest of the shot. It's also useful for fixes. You can even combine it with Resolve's other qualifiers and windows for intricate keys without the need for manual rotoscoping. The output from this tool is a black and white Matte. White areas are affected by subsequent grades or effects, while black areas are untouched. This tool set isn't confined to one place. You can leverage the depth map on multiple pages in DaVinci Resolve. Let's quickly run through getting started with the depth map on the color infusion page. So here on the color page, let's just search for depth map and then we'll drop that into a corrector node. By default, the depth map preview is on, showing you the black and white map. So here under the resulting map adjustment, we'll slide the near limit and far limit sliders to adjust the white and black point. This is to set your overall depth range. Gamma tweaks the midtones. If for some reason you need the opposite of this selection, you can click the invert to isolate a specific slice of the depth. Enable isolation. Use the target depth to pick your focus point. One is your foreground where zero is the background. Tolerance is to set the range around your point and softness is for a smoother fall off. Since depth map can hit the GPU hard, Use the quality dropdown faster to tweak for responsiveness and then better for your final output. Once your map looks correct, uncheck depth map preview. This should be set by default, but if it looks like your corrections are not staying within your depth map, make sure that its alpha channel is being used by the node by right clicking on the node itself and under OFX alpha, make sure that enabled is checked. Additionally, we can pipe out this alpha channel to other nodes if we have a more complex grade where we want to use other corrector nodes. Now hopping over to Fusion, in your node tree, we can add in a depth map node, just hitting shift spacebar and type Typing in depth. Let's view this node and you can see that we have similar controls here, near limit, far limit, isolation, target depth. Now you can adjust these to create your depth map. Then the output of your depth map, you can pipe into any other nodes mask input. Now, as long as you disable the depth map preview, the depth map will output an alpha channel. Depth map infers spatial depth using AI analysis of the image content. This allows it to generate mats of complex shapes based purely off the calculated distance. Handling details like hair or intricate backgrounds that would be tedious or impossible with traditional selection methods. Think isolating a person with a furry coat without roto hell. The depth map does really well at understanding scene geometry, giving you the ability to select more than just simple pixel values. Like using it as a custom blur map for the tilt shift blur effect to create realistic depth aware focused effects. Connect the depth map nodes key output to the tilt shift nodes key input. Then on the the tilt shift node will set the map source to from alpha in, and then we can adjust the focus. And that's the depth map covered in three minutes. Give this video a like if you'd like to see more short videos like this one.